Good evening, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. In this video, we're going to show some of the features built into SDR Uno to shape that demodulated signal to make it sound as, as crisp and as clear as possible. Now, when you're listening to signals on HF, you know you're dealing with uh, selectivity issues. It could be a fading carrier. It could be a very weak station. It could be a station that has another station next to it that's interfering with the station that we want to listen to. Uh, there's a lot of variables here. So let's launch SDR Uno and let's see what we can actually demodulate. Now, as you guys know, I don't read a script. I don't plan ahead. I do plan ahead, but I don't edit these videos I just do it in one take and whatever comes out comes out and we make the best of it so let's launch SDR Uno let's select an RSP1A now before I click play let me mute uh, SDR Uno just in case we're going to be working with the RX control panel and the EX control panel now if your instance of SDR Uno due to your monitor resolution does not show the EX control panel just click EXW within the RX control panel, which is right here. And the features within the EX control panel are extremely advanced. And I promised a user that I would go over this EX control panel, which I still will do. This is my favorite panel within SDR Uno. There's a lot of options here for the notch filters. That would be in another video for the emphasis with uh, FM signals and uh, pure data bandpass filtering here which is also, I believe that's for FM signals also, but I'll try it on an, on an AM uh, station. We're gonna use the AM soft filter with the, I believe the FC stands for frequency cut, and you can take your mouse over that and use the mouse wheel and go up and down. And it's kind of like, how can I explain it? It's kind of like sweeping an EQ, but it's in the mid range. It's in the mids. It's not really in the lows. It's not in the high area. It's really in the mid, and you can really boost that mid signal up uh, with the soft filter, and then you can sweep it. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You would have to see it visually, but I don't have a way to show it to you visually, so we're going to have to do it with, with you guys seeing what's on the screen and me explaining it and the actual difference, the before and after. So enough of me talking. Let's launch SDR Uno. Let's unmute this. Okay, let's, uh, let's find the station. Okay, we're in the wrong mode. Let's select AM. Now let's get our workspace back. Okay, let's find a, a somewhat weak station. Okay, let's uh, analyze the characteristics of this station. Let's zoom in a bit. We have the carrier here. We're in AM mode. The transmission is wide, but our filter width is a bit narrow, so let's widen this up a hair. And you can hear that distortion where it's fading out it's a, it's it's the carrier dropping the carrier is dropping but the the intelligence that's being written on that carrier is pretty steady so what i would do in a situation like this if this was a, a broadcast that i wanted to listen to i would narrow it just a hair not much because if we narrow it too much we're only letting that amount of uh, information passed through the passband filter here. So let's widen that up a hair. And as I said, the carrier is dropping and that's due to conditions. I would select synchronous AM. And what that's gonna do is gonna counter effect that carrier drop and allow us to not have such a, a bad dip in the signal. And if you, if you, let's widen it. And if you listen, yeah. 
de la cantidad de, de restos de insectos que tenía. Entonces, bueno, fue con mucha paciencia, mucho cuidado. It's really making a tremendous difference. Let's raise the volume again and do a, uh, an A to B between AM and synchronous AM. Now, if you click the synchronous AM button, it's going to cycle between a double side band, lower side band, and upper side band. Okay, it only it only uh, cycled between uh, selecting a side band and double side band. So just make sure it says DSB. All right, filter is good. Let's raise the volume. And wait for the carrier to drop. I can hear it pulsing. There it goes. And when that carrier drops, it's kind of distorting the audio. So now let's re enable synchronous AM. And that's a tremendous difference. Now, let's see what else we can do with that station. We have it in synchronous AM, and I mentioned to you the soft filter. So let's put it back to AM, unmute, and let's see what the soft filter does. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's see if we notice a difference in the characteristics of the transmission with the soft filter enabled the carrier is going to drop we're going to get some distortion and let's see if the soft filter makes any difference okay now the soft filter the soft filter is enabled and in my opinion i believe that this is going to boost the mid-range by default and then we can adjust it here so let's do some adjustments yeah it extenuated it it it, ex it made a little bit of a difference now let's see with uh synchronous am uh enabled and the soft filter Big difference. Major difference in my opinion. So when you guys are are chasing DX, <clears throat> excuse me, if we are chasing uh, some DX from a shortwave broadcast station i highly recommend trying at least trying uh, synchronous am double sideband and enable the soft filter and adjust the frequency cut which i believe that's what the fc stands for and just mouse wheel over it up and down now let's see if the pure data bass pan filter makes a difference with am transmission i believe that's for fm transmissions only so i'll stop speaking and let's try it Bueno, pues lo mejor es ir y ya está. Efectivamente, claro. yo invito a la gente que se dé un paso por allí un fin de semana porque realmente merece la pena. Sí. Claro. No, no difference whatsoever. All right, now let's enable noise reduction. I don't know, there's something wrong with my throat today. Let's enable noise reduction, soft tube, and synchronous AM. And let's see if that even makes a difference. Pues eh, le lié y dije, oye, mira, Luis, nos vamos al quinto y eso, eh, y después es como yo que le dije, ve, y me deja todo. <laughs> y lo pasó y dijo que había muchas alteraciones en el subsuelo and de la noise, capilla. Your noise reduction slider is here. The least amount of noise reduction would be to the left, and the most extreme amount of noise reduction would be all the way to the right. So I'm just going to, let's just enable it uh, full bore, and then we'll back it off. En el museo estamos en pleno rodaje, y a lo mejor pues dentro de un año, año y medio, 
después se empieza con una excavación arqueológica abierta al público para sí. que vean cómo, cómo se realiza. And what the noise reduction is doing, it's going to top off that signal. It's going to get rid of the hiss. Uh, it's going to get rid of the hiss. It's going to bring the, the mids and the highs down, and you're not going to hear the the, 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 the sound that you're used to uh, when using a portable. It's just got that very distinct sound uh, when the noise reduction is not enabled. Y como nosotros trabajamos con mucha momia, yo creo que con esta de las de quinto ya he llegado mm. al, al medio millar de, de momias con las que he off. trabajado. Nos en España. Y bueno, pues tenemos ese acceso a las muestras, porque siempre que trabajamos con algunas momias, bueno, les decimos que sería interesante poder tomar muestras, sí. hacer el descanso. Ok, ahora vamos a probar con un en straight AM. Y pues nos hemos rodeado de una serie de, de colaboradores mm. internacionales todos externos que son los que analizan las muestras Qué bien, bueno, eh, sé que hace muy poquito has regresado de Cuba, ¿no? Porque allí también estáis, eh, os habéis encontrado con un descubrimiento Yeah, big difference, so when you're in AM, if you want to use the uh, AM mode enable the noise reduction and ride that slider a little bit, so basically it's, you know, this this video we, we did a lot of things, but when you're listening to a shortwave station, it's going to be uh, AM or you can enable synchronous AM. You can use the soft filter if you like. You can use the noise reduction if you like. But if the carrier is not dropping, if you don't have a carrier drop and it's you're not having selectivity issues, AM is good and use the noise reduction. Las hemos presentado ya en dos congresos de, de momias, el último ha sido este año en, en Tenerife. Sí. Y bueno, pues hemos descubierto una cosa muy interesante. Por ejemplo. En el Museo Montané, está en, en La Habana, sí. había una momia que tenía una cartela que ponía... Un... Yeah, that worked out rather well. I'm actually impressed with the noise reduction uh, running Estero Uno in Standard AM. All right, the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the uh, EX control panel with the pure data bandpass filter and we'll get into FM stereo noise reduction and then after that video we're going to discuss uh, decoding stations on HF we fax which are fax transmissions over HF which are long distance fax transmissions they're weather faxes we can do a little bit of uh, FT8 decoding, we'll do a little JT65 decoding, we will do some CW decoding. I want to find software that is free. I want to try to stay away from the paid for apps if I can. It's this way, it's easier for everybody just to find software that's free. Everybody loves free software. Thank you guys so much for watching, warmest of 7.3, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one, because I enjoyed making it. Bye-bye.